there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we have part two of um, this mixed media canvas that I have started and am going to finish. So we are just up to, I'm using some black gesso. This one is a tub from the Crafters Workshop and I quite like this one. It seems to be really, um, really black and nice and thick so I do like this gesso. And you can see this kind of like different bits of black all over the letters and things. That's from the gloss uh, matte gel that I've used to stick them all down. So I need to go over and do one final coat of black gesso over absolutely everything. All the little embellishments, all the ribbon, just all the glue, everything that I've used. Um, so that we can start colouring it after that. So I'm just using again a little... Um, squeegee brush and going over everything to get all the little nooks and crannies and make sure that absolutely everything is covered in this black gesso. I did also end up using um, this little paintbrush. This is actually a water brush, but I have ordered heaps of these from AliExpress and now I have a big stock of them. So it was just the nearest paintbrush, the nearest little paintbrush. Uh, and I'm using that to get in all of the tiny little bits. The foam brush was really good and it kind of got the majority, the bulk of it uh, covered. So then I go over the little paintbrush. Now I'm using this, this is the first colour I'm going to use, so it's Midnight Sky from the Metalic range and um, it's kind of just a nice dark blue colour. I don't necessarily want this canvas to be a dark canvas, it does kind of end up being on the darker side, it's certainly not a light and bright canvas anyhow, so I end up putting quite a lot of this on and it is kind of a um, iridescent -y, shiny uh, canvas in the end, which is cool, which also means that it changes with the light a lot. So you'll see when I'm filming and things, I've just ended up using natural light for this video. Uh, so it changes a lot if I pick up the canvas or if I move the angle, um, the look of the canvas changes a lot. So I'm sort of, you can see occasionally that I am brushing bits and pieces um, off on the paper that's down below. I don't want to cover up all the black, but I want sort of most of it to be covered up. Um, I guess the goal with each one of the layers is to add like a little bit of that layer without covering up all of the previous layer. So I am giving this a quick dry <laughs> as per usual time is of the essence so I am just um, speeding it up by giving it a nice quick dry and then I have this acrylic paint this one's from Art Alchemy and this one is the blue gold color so with this one I've kind of zoomed in here so you can see I'm trying a little bit with my finger first and because it's going on to a dark surface not necessarily a black surface but a dark surface it is showing up uh, mainly gold so when you use it on a white surface, it'll show up kind of more blue. And when you show up on a dark, like a black or a dark blue surface, it'll show up uh, more gold. So I'm kind of just brushing over everything. As I said, um, you, can't, you don't want to cover up the layer that you've previously put down. But um, putting all of these colors on is about building up layers of color. Um, that's what it is to me anyhow. So yeah, I'm just going over all the little bits and pieces and kind of dry brushing on a little bit of this color which ends up being um, really gold. In some places I feel like I went overboard and I kind of put too much on. I used this color, this blue gold color to lighten the canvas quite a lot to kind of get it out of that dark um, darkness and so 
there are a couple of places in the canvas that I felt like I just put too much on and that's okay too. So you'll see me every now and then that I come back and I go back to that midnight sky colour and sort of undo a little bit of the gold. Um, and I just do that by either dipping my finger in, just like I'm doing right now. This is the midnight blue colour that I'm using, just to go back a wee bit and blend it in a little bit more. So once I am finished using some more of that midnight sky colour and just adding it on with a small paintbrush, I'm going to add some uh, rich copper colour, so like an orangey, reddy, browny kind of colour, and I'm just going to add it on using my finger, that's kind of the easiest way to keep control for me, and so as I said, it's all about just kind of adding layers and um, kind of really bringing that texture forward. I'm definitely aware at this point that the the words the Derwent Street is hard to read still and I will work on that soon so um, I'm just kind of moving it around in the light so that you can see when you have different lights on it it, ch it really changes color and changes the look of the canvas so as I said I'm just going around and adding little bits and pieces all over the place um, no real rhyme or reason just this whole canvas really was just a whole lot of fun and just lots of exploring for me. So I'll leave you to it once again. So now I have gone on to add some uh, vintage gold and that's the colour that I'm using at the moment and as I said you can kind of with all these colours you can add more than you you know add lots of colours on and they all seem to kind of go together so I'm just adding little bits lots of layers and this is where I am going to work on the words to make them stand out so I am starting off by giving them kind of a I wouldn't say a thorough coating, but the majority of each letter is coated in this uh, vintage gold colour. And again, just using my finger because I, that's what I find the easiest. And then I have used a little bit of the vintage gold around some of the um, embellishments around the outside, but more so for the letters, but uh, a little bit around the outside for cohesiveness. And I keep changing the colour of those three little... Um, dots up there because I can't decide what colour I want to keep them or make them. So the colour has changed a million times already uh, throughout this canvas. But just trying to add a little bit around the place. And then with the letters I felt like I wanted to have them just stand out a little bit more than they already were. And I didn't super know what to do with them. Uh, maybe I could have gone over with a little bit more 
like white gesso or some white highlights that would have brought them out better but that's okay anyway so I'm nearly finished and I decided that I would come back with the um, sort of silvery color I think it's called brushed iron and I would highlight the bottoms of the um, Derwent Street so I'd kind of gone over it once at this point actually because I lost some of the footage and now I'm just going over and giving them sort of um, yeah a highlight at the bottom That wraps up this entire project uh, I am all done and I'm pretty happy with it for um, just kind of having a play and not really having a plan I really enjoyed the process and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the process and coming along with me and exploring all these little bits and pieces and in particular the new products that I had gotten uh, I will link all of the AliExpress embellishments, which is pretty much everything, all the embellishments on there are from AliExpress, so I will link those all in the description box below. Let me know what you think of the final canvas, and yeah, I shall be back before you know it, I'm sure. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye!